What just happened? Oh, okay. All right. So where do we leave off? I think we were in the headquarters of the guild people. talk to him. I wanted to talk to her. Lanville said you'd come. They're waiting for you. Please proceed. Wait. But which... Uh, can I go up here first? You know what? There's a lot of people here. Let me just... Oh, there's like a barracks here? You found a page of the Codex. Let's see. Edenia. Much of mankind's culture has been shaped by conflict. The human realm is a vast land composed of several populous kingdoms constantly vying for dominance. Political and military authority in Edenia is concentrated in the country's major noble houses. These families have ancient roots and many can trace their ancestry back to the land's original tribes. The power struggles between these houses are also a daily source of gossip and intrigue within individual kingdoms. Okay. Oh, what's this? Ascending Room. The Ascending Room is a marvel of ancient dwarven e engineering. The room functions as a lift that ferries passengers from Delar Arch to the surface of Eisenair. It follows a complicated network of tunnels underground that serve to conceal the room's final destination. This renders Delar Arch's location virtually impossible to find unless it is accessed via the ascending room. Despite the machine's age, it is far more advanced than most modern technology in Etheria. Yeah. The knowledge used in its concentrate in, in its con construction has been long lost to the dwarves. The Etheran Alliance, rising from the ashes of the Temper Wars, the kingdoms of Ether, Etheria, pulled their resources together and established the Guardians Alliance, a tenuous diplomatic alliance of five countries and the free cities. Its purpose was threefold to organize a concert, concerted means of rebuilding their kingdoms to prevent future wars and to mitigate damage from the Colossi, the Alliance is composed of three distinct branches, the Chantry, the Conclave, and the Guardians. Can't go that way. You know, I think this is forward, so we'll go up. sort of enchantment table. Oh, she's here. Hmm. The Nazari Camp. The Nazari Camp is a dro settlement in the southwest corner of Delarge. The day-to-day -day dealings within the encampment is overseen by Satara. However, actual authority over the dro and their militant shadow mancers and blood mages lies within the shadow brand. Most survivors regarding dro culture as strangle or barbaric tend to steer clear of the camp as they find the residents generally unwilling to suffer their ignorance and lack of sophistication. <laughs> Let me be clear, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. It looks like I'm the least of your worries around here. I don't know how you got through the Frostfell, but my gut is telling me something is off. You may be in Lanville's good graces, but respect is earned in my books. Good. That makes both of us. I've got my eyes on you. Alright. Let's see. We have broken a tenuous truce between the crown loyalists and the drifters. This place feels like it's about to explode. Oh jeez, it just keeps going up. This chamber belongs to our leader, Commander Zangard Ventru. 
It is strictly off limits. Captain Esquire once saved my life during a surface mission. I owe him a huge debt of gratitude with, and would gladly pledge myself to his service. Alright, we can go back down now. The Guardians are composed of soldiers recruited from across the five realms and free cities of Ethera. Our efforts have ushered in a new era of peace over the world. Doesn't sound like it's peace. Our priority now is to stop the Shade King. We need to find a safe way to ev evacuate the survivors from Ice Nair. Unfortunately, our inability to bypass the Frostfell has stifled our efforts. The Frostfell has kept you trapped here this entire time. It's an enchanted barrier surrounding Ice Nair. Anyone who touches it is, is instantly frozen to death. Frost fences are getting erected inside the city too. Oh. This is a city map. Looks like the Guardians have profiled the most important people of the city. A new Frost Fence has cut up cut off access to the supplies we need at the ghost bazaar the situation is dire so we were so we're going we're still trying to keep this under wraps the last thing we need is a panic we'll have to consult balthazar to find another route through he always manages to find something all right this is a new guy i guess yes. i don't know how it happened sir but we're making every effort. Lyric. What? Oh yeah, I forgot. Lyric, glad you could join us. I'd like to introduce you to our esteemed leader, Zangard Venture. Zangard, I set out in search of you months ago. I can hardly believe you're standing here now. Oh, please excuse me. Apologize. Apologies for interrupting. I'm just. I'm just pleased to make your acquaintances, sir. Please, call me Zangar. The captain just informed me of your unusual arrival. I have a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Yes, I'm sorry to cut this introduction short, but we have an ongoing situation. Isabel Salazar escaped her cell and left Delar Arch. She murdered our guards and allowed a mad wraith into Delarge, putting many lives at risk. I saw her briefly while having my paperwork done. She even spoke to me as I was leaving. What? She hasn't spoken in a year. Do you remember what she said? I didn't pay much heed to her at the time. Who is she? That witch is one of the Shade King's prime lieutenants. If she gets away, she will compromise Delarge's location. If that happens, nothing will save us. Then forgive me for asking, but why aren't you pursuing her right away? We tried. We were unable to follow her through the frost fence, though. She uses her magic to bypass it. Frost fence? Their small berry is conjured from the same magic as the frost fell. The green flame uses them to limit our access to certain sectors of ice near. They, too, are deadly to the touch. But that wouldn't be an issue for you, would it, Lyric? Sir? It's true, I walked through the Frostfell. I could do I could do so through the power of this Vambrace, but you already knew that, didn't you? How do you come into possession of this artifact? My late father left it to me. His final letter bid me to seek you out in this cursed place. This Vambrace, he said, was the key to coming here. It allowed it allowed me to bypass the Frostfell harmlessly. Would your father happen to be the esteemed Dr. Nico Dr. Nikolai Lyric? Wait. Is Lyric our last name? And she doesn't use her first name? One and the same. How can you possibly know that? He was a renowned scholar and his research on the Archons is unsurpassed. I am well versed on his work. Now before me stands a woman, bearing his namesake, and carrying a relic of iconic design. Even I can connect the dots. You recognize this thing? It's called the Aether Brace, a powerful relic indeed. 
I'm not sure Lyric realizes the value of what she possesses. If all you say is true, then she could give it to us. We can use it to turn the tide against the King of Shades. It's not that simple. I can't remove it. I've tried everything short of cutting off my arm. Lyric, you seek answers and I'm willing to help you, but our priority now is finding Isabel. Would you be willing to lead a party past the frost fence to find her? This isn't my first tracking mission. I'll help, but when I come back, we need to talk. You'll need a place to prepare before de deploying. Take this scroll of consent and tell Helga at the Lost Lady Inn I sent you. She'll make sure you have a space. And my scouts, my scouts informed me Isabel was moving north toward the entertainment district. We will send some guardians with you to the surface to help, of course. If you're looking for cell swords, you might have some luck at the recruitment board. In the meantime, I'll make sure the ascending room is set for your next destination. Leave it to me. Anything over here? The Guardians Assemble. The Guardians are, the, are a military composed of soldiers from Edenia and the free cities of Ethera. They undertake expeditions and extended campaigns on, the, on behalf of the Alliance. Their purpose is to maintain peace and stability across the realm. Leadership and management over the military arms of the Alliance is divided between ten generals, two from each of the five kingdoms. I've learned to appreciate these quiet moments. It feels like the calm before the swarm, the storm of doing our next surface run. Oh. <clears throat> hey, girl, over here. What if I don't want to talk to you? I'm pretty busy right now. Then I'll keep it brief. I am Maru Han, the acting director of the North Venture company in Dokim. Dokim? Dokim? I heard rumor Landville was assembling an expedition to the entertainment district. Is it true? Word travels fast around here. There are a few activities to while away the hours in Delarge, and the gift of the gab has always been my specialty. Well, your sources were right, but the original expedition was cancelled and I'm leading the new one myself. Then I have a special request. There is an item of great importance to me in the entertainment district. The merchant, Manduk, is currently in possession of it. What is this item, and who is Manduk? Manduk? A golden seal called the Oxe. It is granted by the Asadali Emperor and confers legitimacy to its owner to conduct business on behalf of the Norventru Company in Dokiem. Manduk was the company's former chief. This doesn't seem like something worth risking lives over. Risk brings reward. Fetch me the seal and I'll assure you get the finest deals in Delarge. You'll need my help if you're planning regular expeditions to the surface. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for it, but I'm not making any promises. The merchant's fate has already been sealed. It is of little use to her now, but it's priceless to me. I'll be seeing you around. So go to the end. Champion. Tonight just isn't your night, my friend. What are you talking about? Just deal the cards. Argrim Manor. Following the incidents and survivors escape from the surface of Eisnair, the Dwarven Crown Loyalists took up residence in the northwest corner of Delarge. They commandeered an uninhabited dwelling here, which they promptly re renamed Argrim Manor after the missing king. All Crown Loyalists either reside here or have set up their encampments outside the manor. While the area does welcome others, it is staunchly opposed to the crimson rain and high tensions reign 
Rains against the drifters here. Alright. Are you Helga? Well, look what the snowcat dragged in. I heard there was a new face in town. My name is Lyric. Sandguard sen sends his regards. He said you could set me up with a room here? That's so. Hmm. Unfortunately, we're full up. Oh. Actually, I might have something for you. But it can hardly be called a room. You used to roughing it? I've had my share of nights without a roof over my head. But you won't have any problems here. We have a space behind the bar that's being used for storage. You can unload over there. I'm not complaining. Make yourself at home and feel free to spruce it up. Sure. So is it here that I can go in? Alright. Band. Watch yourself. Wouldn't want to trip down the stairs and bust that pretty head of yours. Oh, who are you? I sense the presence of a fellow adventurous. That's quite the sixth sense you have. The name's Lyric. Who might you be? No offense, but I'm not looking for new friends. They always end up six feet under. That's a jaded outlook. Survive a few trips to the surface, and maybe we'll have something in common. Until then, keep your guard up. The community announcement. Dearest patrons of the Lost Lady Pub and Inn, it has come to my attention that many of you have been leaving empty mugs and bottles strewn about the premises. Just because the apocalypse doesn't mean we have to act like beasts. Please do your part in keeping the Lost Lady clean. This is probably that lady's room, because it has the red bows. Alright. Anything over here? Nope. Well, she wasn't kidding. This place is a dump. Hey, you take what you can get. Well, if I'm gonna stay here, I might as well clean it up. It took all night to clean that mess. I have to admit, this place looks a lot better now. It's really not half bad. It's about time to head out. I should check the recruitment board Landville mentioned to see if I can find some more hands for the expedition. Hmm. It's been a while since I slept in a proper bed. It looks like it's about to fall apart, but I'd rather take my chances than sleep on the cold, strong ground, stony ground. I can keep my clothes in this closet. I could really use a fresh change. Oh, I can change? Lyra can change her clothes in the dressing room. You will unlock new skins as you progress through the expedition. Should I wear this? Oops. A bath with running water? Impressive. The ancient aqueduct system here is more advanced than most modern cities. This is my storage unit. I can keep my stuff in here. The space is the space in my pack is limited and my companions won't be able to bring much either. If I carry too much, I won't be able to continue the expedition to the best of my ability. Looking at the flame relaxes me. The fireplace really brings some welcome warmth to my stay here. So this is the recruitment board then? This looks like the recruitment board. Let's see if any hired hands are available. Chances to join the supply runs are drying up now. Well with all the new frost fences being erected around the city. Damn the green flame. I haven't eaten anything in two days. If only there was a way to sabotage those barriers. This is the recruitment wall. Expedition leaders come here to find willing participants for supply runs to the surface. You meet a lot of interesting characters around here. Most of them have 
seen some action on the surface. Many have even encountered mad spooks. You can meet up with your new hires at the Lost Lady before going to the surface. Always helps to put a name to the face. Thanks for the tip. I nearly lost my tail on the last mission. Luckily we all made it back in one piece. Since the green flame has tightened their grip on the entire city, your tail might end up being the, late, the least of your worries next time. Permission to lead expeditions is only granted to a select few. The volunteers of the recruitment wall are willing to risk their lives simply for the opportunity to bring something back. Many of these hunters will end up back in our hands at the healing hall. Without these volunteers, Delar Arch would have fallen to ruin long ago. Despite the circumstances, they have high spirits. There's the recruitment board. You will find willing comrades in Delar Arch who have added their names here. Select comrades to join your expedition to the surface. There are only four candidates now, but you will unlock more allies as you progress. New applicants will appear on the recruitment board from time to time. All right, let's see. We have Edgar. He's a dragon, a dragoon. Great Porter distracts enemies. Uh, what am I good at then? We have Adrea. She's a fencer. Great at scouting, stuns enemies. We have Joran Kong. She's an art caster. Great range, spreads damage. And we have Luther Fusiller. Great flourish, avoids traps. Uh, I think I want her. Do I need this companion? Yeah, we'll take her. Do I need this companion? We're taking her. And... They will take him just because he has a lot of health. Uh, how do I fix my order again? I think he should be first. And... Okay, she has short range. She can't do long range. And I can do long range, so we'll do it like that. And now we can go to the inn and talk to them, apparently. Oh, wait. So this is Andrea. I pimped out my daggers with silver ingot. Ingot. It's the only way to hurt the spooks, you know. Are you sure we're stocked for the journey? We can't afford any rookie mistakes on this outing. Don't worry. I know it'll be much more difficult to find what we need on the fields. Alright. So here is... Joe Kong. Hey, Chief. I call first dibs on any jewels we find on the field. Consider my services are free. Considering my services are free, I say that's more than fair. I don't collect jewels. Have at it. Was he in this room? Oh, this is him. I don't feel comfortable with complete strangers fighting on my side. Try not to get in the way of up there. Okay, dude. Zangard, scroll of consent before you can use the ascending room. Zangard just gave it to me. Here. Okay, looks like everything checks out. You can use the statue over there to operate the lift. Do you have any questions? Uh, not really. I'll figure it out. Be careful up there. 
Okay, this is it. Once we head up, there's no going back. Let's go. The Ascending Room, the part to the Entertainment District. The Ascending Room is an ancient device constructed to ferry passengers from Delarge to various locations on the surface of Ice Nair. Choose your desired location and go. Mission, pursue Isabel Hellfire. The Entertainment District is located in the north quarter of Ice Nair. Unlike most dwarven cities, which are stifling, rigid, and homogeneous, Ice Nair prospered greatly from its laissez-faire policies and open nature. As the years pass, this burgeoning quarter served to satisfy all manner of vices for the city's diverse populace. Although it is now in complete ruin, not all is lost. The Ghost Bazaar, a vibrant trading hub, is open for business. The spooks there are even willing to deal with the living, who bring hell money to the table. We're not going to be good at... Uh, looks like this is the hidden entrance to the city. I could freeze to death up here. I better hustle if I want to find Isabel. Camping is essential to restoring your party's health and vigor. Your party will be able to use supplies during this lull in your expedition. Make sure you take the time to benefit from planning accordingly. You need to choose someone to oversee the camp. This person will manage supplies, security, and morale while the party is resting. It is usually a good idea to choose someone with high overwatch. Your chosen overwatch can amuse the party with song and story, and story to restore vigor. Success is determined by the overwatch stat. The overwatch will guard the camp when your party chooses to rest. Sleep will restore HP. Your health and success is determined by the overwatch stat. Shadow mancers and fencers can use ravens to scout streets in your current neighborhood, thus revealing what you can expect to encounter there. So who's all right? So Joe, Jeho Ron Kong is our Overwatch person. Then. Chapter two: The Merchant. Oh, it's her. You. I'm Sarge. Sangar told me you were coming. The people I pull half frozen from the surface usually avoid coming back up. Celeste mentioned one of her scavenging parties found me. Thanks for saving my life. I suppose I'm a glutton for punishment. You know the green flame and feral animals aren't all you'll need to worry about up here. What should I be worried about up here? The spooks are naturally drawn to your presence, so you're being hunted the moment you set foot out here. Almost everything has a rational desire to see you dead. Make sure the person leading your team can detect traps. You have plenty to contend with between the natural obstacles, traps set up by the green flames race and mad survivors. I see my share of danger. I'll be ready for it this time. Take this. We call it a geistometer. It'll let you know when the spooks are getting close by measuring the ghost fog. It's an interesting, interesting contraption. Check its status on the bottom left corner of the screen. When the ghost fog comes, you'll know the mad shades are nearby. When that happens, make sure you leave the area as quickly as possible. That should... That sound, they sound like a handful to contend with. Just try to come back in one piece, soldier. Terror will increase as your party explores the field. It will drop again when you enter a new neighborhood. Use the Geistometer to monitor the ghost fog and stay ahead of the threat pursuing you. Okay. Huh. Everybody stop! Is this the frost fence? Be careful around that. The green flame has been putting them up around the city to block our way. That's the reason I'm here. What's the plan? I thought you knew a way around it. No, we're going through it. You can't be serious. Touching it is instant death. 
How do you think I got into the city to begin with? All right, everyone, step back. I've only done this once before, and I honestly don't know what's going to happen next. Here goes nothing. It's gone. What kind of magic is this? This van brace protects me from iconic magic. You could use it to help us escape this city. It seems I can sh destroy these smaller frost fences, but that's not the case for the frost fell surrounding ice there. Okay, let's move out. Wraiths. After cursing Eisner, every inhabitant who died within the Spear of the Shade King's cor corruptive influence manifested in spectral form. Some returned having lost their ability to reason. They were consumed by an insatiable desire to attack and kill any living creature on sight. Others awoke in their new forms fully lucid and had to come to terms with their new ex existence. These are the Sober Wraiths. Race can be harmed by powerful magic or silver-lined weapons. Gerard. Mortals. It seems that traffic is busy in the entertainment district today. My name is Gerard. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hands up where I can see them. You, you can speak? There's no need for hostilities. I come in peace, a simple merchant of fine wares. How do you pass the frost fence? The frost fence is no impediment to me. I have the ability to walk through them. Interesting indeed. You must possess a magic that is neither blood nor hedge. Hmm. I suspect a sense of urgency in your manner. I'm willing to help you in, in a show of good faith. You said traffic was busy today. Did you see someone pass through here? As a matter of fact, I did. I passed a woman today. Tall, dark, and brooding she was. That sounds like our woman. Which way did she go? Aha! Well, my generosity does have its limits. I would be willing to point you in the right direction for a price. What do you want? I'm searching for something. Nothing important, just a small golden company seal known as the Akase. Ox Okase. I'm never gonna get that right. That's the same seal Maru is looking for. My dear, you would stand to gain from much from such a deal with me. I merely seek your agreement to return the Okase to me, should you stumble upon it. What is your purpose? And why pray tell would a wraith need such a thing? Much like a my living counterparts, I am still a merchant dealing with physical goods. No death has not dampened my ambitions. However, with the authority of the seal, I could re regulate trade amongst the wraiths. Mm. It's highly unlikely I'm going to stumble upon on this item, but I'll let you know if we do. You need to learn a thing or two about doing business, girl. In any case, I saw your woman. She, is, she was heading north toward the Ghost Bazaar. Coincidentally, I was heading the same way. Beware. The road there is not safe for the living, and the bazaar is even more dangerous. I've heard tale of the merchant Manduk. Terrible thing what happened. The King of Shades corrupted Manduk and turned, him, turned her into a vengeful shade under his control. She was once an individual of great renown. Now her corrupted spirit is maddening the minds of the wraiths in her local area, though I do not know the full, con the full extent of the damage. We need to head out now. Maybe we'll see you at the Ghost Bazaar? Go with the All-Mother, Warm Blood. Okay. Ugh. You can retreat to the Delar Arch at any time from the pause menu. You will keep your surviving allies in loot, but lose your expedition progress. Find reliable shelters between neighborhoods to craft and use items. Unfortunately, your team will be exposed and unable to rest here. 
I uh, guess we'll go this way. Road of Riches. Is this a different guy? Oh, it's him again. Hello, Warm Blood. Let's make a deal. Herbal bomb. Uh, I don't think I need anything yet. I hope to see your warm bloods again soon. Wait, it changed my lineup. Can she even attack from far range? Uh, whatever, we'll let it go. There's two ways we can go. Each neighborhood is filled with about 10 street paths. Checking the map on the field will allow, will show which street you're on. Your team must reach the neighborhood exit to progress. Each street has a, at least one encounter event. The streets encounter icon will be displayed after you have discovered it. You need to clear five neighborhoods to reach the boss dungeon. The map is un unavailable in areas Lyric has little information about. Alright, so we should go up because then we can go down and it'll be the same way. Alright, wood planks, scrap metal, junk, faded jewels. Ah, oh, that was a mimic. Oh, we avoided it. A fake chest springs to life and angers you. Vigor, minus two. Halt! There's something here. Lost bigger. What? Incoming! Jeez! Okay. Uh, if we look here. His strike is good against two, three, and four. Uh, so he'll hit two first, because two is going to get the next attack. And her slash is good against three, but we can't really hit three from here. Wait, what does this do? Uh, just defend. Okay. Who gets to attack next? It's four. Uh... Next up is one. What happened to him?
she can't really do anything. So I just flash her. Spice and a bullion ship. All right, we gotta change this order. Oops. Okay, so we're here. Uh, I guess we go right. Oh, stay back unless you want to feel my blade. Wait, we're from Delar Arch. You're from Delar Arch too? Damn, you gave us quite the fright, Outlander. I'm the leader of this team. We've been scavenging the air, the surface for some time, but I do believe our luck has run dry. I'm sorry to hear that. What are your plans now? We can use your help to explore this area. I'm heading back after this. If you need help, these fellas might be willing to lend you their time. My crew knows the real threats up here. You'll have to pony up some Helion if you want their help. I've seen some strange thing lurking about. I'd best not push my luck by staying out here any longer. You could have my magic at your disposal. Great damage, buffs. Great fighter, buffs combat. I don't really want to pay. Before I continue, can I save mid thing? No. Lyric will occasionally gain points that can be used to boost the perk of your choice. Choose carefully once you made your, your decision, there's no going back. So we are here now. Steep crevice. A steep crevice was concealed on the field and fractured. Damn, I set it off. Keep a wary eye. Working steam pipe. You find a working pipe just jutting from the ground. Warm steam hisses from the ruptured section of the steel. The fact that this ancient system still functions is a testament to the ingenuity of its original engineers. Upon closer examination, you find an old valve that looks like it can control the pressure. Uh, let's twist it. Uh, who will take the action? <laughs> Let Edgar do it. You twist the valve and hear a loud hiss. Another area of the pipe ruptures, spewing noxious fumes around you. You rush away quickly, but already feel the onset of dull headaches. Of a dull headache. Debuff. Befuddled. He's having a bad day.
messages. I swear I saw something. Ah, oh, it took me back. I must have missed something. How do I go forward? going well at all. We're just gonna have to go back because this is a mess. Let's do this. Oh, we gotta run. targets oh, she can't do anything because I messed that up again This is way harder than I thought it was. Alright. And... That should have killed him. get out okay. 
No! <laughs> I don't like this. What? I don't know how to get to past there. I'm going to die already. Nothing I can do. My head, you're awake. My name is Nerveri. Never. I am the doctor that has been tending you. Where am I? You're at the Sylvani Healing Hall. Your companion brought you back from the field. You've been out cold for days. I I can't believe it. Your friend awaits you at the Lost Lady Inn. Sorry, I cannot afford to have distractions here while pati patients are under my care. More imper importantly, how do you feel now? I think I'm okay. I can't remember much. Considering the injuries you sustained, you've healed remarkably well. Our hedge magic usually doesn't work this quickly. Strange. Indeed. I have deduced that something else is at work here. It may have something to do with that particular peculiar van brace I was unable to remove from your arm. In any case, do what you will with that information. You're free to go now. Do not keep your companions waiting too long. Thank you, Doctor. Oh my gosh. Where am I? I guess we'll end it here. 
just in complete and utter disgrace and failure and the death of a comrade who we barely even got to know. Sad days. Looks like I didn't have to carry you back from the surface this time. The trip was perilous, but the All-Mother was on my side. Surviving up there was re will require more than the All-Mother's help. Anything else you want to know? Uh... No, I'm good. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we'll end here, I guess. Ah!